We have been told again and again that free market capitalism is the cause of inequality. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Just look at how the super rich live. But in fact, capitalism is making the world more equal. Think about it this way. If your ancestors of 200 years ago could see how, say, Bill Gates lived today, what would they be most impressed by? I'd guess the fact that he has food on the table, safe water in the taps, even hot water, that he can take a pill to end headache, that all his kids survive to adulthood, that he has plenty of clothes and can make them clean again by putting them in a box, that he can point to anything he finds interesting and generate a picture of it that he can use the same device to get answers to any question, talk to anyone and listen to Beethoven even if he doesn't have a symphony orchestra at home. And if he gets into a big metal box with wheels, he can travel faster than a horse can run. And with a bigger tubular variant with wings, he can even fly there. Those things are indeed remarkable, like magic. But the most remarkable thing is that I have them too, and you do too. In fact, the distribution of all things that make for a safe, comfortable life is more equal now than they have ever been before. And this is because capitalism constantly pressure businesses to make goods, services and technologies cheaper and more accessible to more people. Today, Americans below the poverty line are more likely to own dishwashers, washing machines, air conditioners and televisions, and of course, computers and mobile phones, than the average American did in 1970. And look around the world. In recent decades, we have seen the greatest reduction in poverty in world history. This means that global inequality has actually declined sharply since the turn of the millennium. According to some researchers, global inequality declined for the first time in 500 years. It doesn't happen everywhere. Not everyone is getting richer. Some places like socialist Venezuela have become much poorer. So, in a way, the unequal distribution of wealth is the result of the unequal distribution of capitalism. Those who have it grow rich. Those who are denied it stay poor.